Welcome back. Invasive plants and animals are constantly introduced into our local ecology. Well, this morning we're going to tell you about a recent invader to western New York that is hiding right in plain sight. Two on your sides, Terry Belke explains as we head to the outdoors. The issue of non-native plants and animals being introduced to an unsuspecting ecology is one that is decades long. There are over 50,000 non-native species entrenched in the United States, 4,300 of which are deemed invasive. Both non-native and invasive species originate from another part of the world, but non-native species have a neutral or even positive effect on the ecosystem, while invasive species always cause harm. Western New York has its share of invasives, and a new one is right underfoot. It's a species of earthworm known as the jumping worm. There are actually about four or five different species that are, um, none of them are native to the United States, but they've all been brought in either through the bait industry or landscaping or mulch or soil or something like that. The worm's presence has created a cascade of degradation to the soil. They break down leaf litter too quickly, which hastens erosion and deprives the soil of needed nutrients and moisture. The lack of cover from fallen leaves also exposes seeds, which get gobbled up by small mammals. And so we're seeing a reduction in the understory plants because the seeds aren't able to it, they aren't able to, to actually germinate because the seeds are gone, and if they can germinate, they dry out. We tend to think of earthworms as being beneficial, and that is true of some species. The irony is that in New York State, there are no native earthworms. After the last glaciation, you know, 10,000 years ago, there have been no earthworms in the western Great Lakes states. Lumbricus terrestris, a, a common nightcrawler, um, Canada nightcrawler sometimes, um, was actually brought into um, into the colony at Roanoke in 1609. As the worm spread is caused by man, it makes sense that we all do what we can do to stop its advance. Can we control their spread? Absolutely. Uh, in a natural system, we're going to have a really hard time doing that. But at home, we can be very vigilant about where we get our mulch. We can be very vi vigilant about where we get our soils from. We can be careful with bait. Right? All of those things matter. If one earthworm's output of offspring is in the hundreds, one earthworm can have a big impact. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.